Okay, welcome back everyone. Um, this is going to be just another uh, episode of the CPP for Beginners Tutorials. Uh, this is going to be 29B. It's going to be going over the homework that I had assigned at the end of last episode, uh, which was to create an array, put some values in it, and then add those values in reverse order to a vector. And I can show you that using a for loop because I think that that'll be the easiest in this case. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an array. Uh, let's say int array xy. Um, we'll make it five members long and we'll set it equal to you know I do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 way too much so let's do 50 100, 150, 200, and 279, just for the sake of, you know, being iconoclastic here. So, if we wanted to reverse it, yeah, we could include algorithm, and then, you know, we could cheat and reverse it back, but let's do this the real way. So we're going to declare a vector of ints, and we'll call it, um vec xy because I don't know I like keeping the name somewhat similar so what we're going to do is create a for loop and we're simply going to start it uh, like this we'll do int i equals 5 i is greater than 0 i minus minus meaning that you know we started a number and we're going to be edging downwards towards 0 and so then all we're going to do for each iteration is we're going to be doing um, a vec xy dot pushback and the number that we're going to be using is going to be array xy of i and I think that that'll work um, we're going to come up here and uh, I hate when it does this. This happens sometimes. Um, let me just close that. When you first load the program, sometimes the run button doesn't come up too reliably. So then we're going to uh, come up here, type in four, and we'll do int i equals zero. i is uh, less than vec xy dot size i plus plus c out vec xy of i and l and so that should pretty much cover all the code that we need to do here um, in this case it should start at the beginning and push back once for each of the uh, the positions in array xy and then afterwards it should just see out so let's see if that'll work Ooh. Um, oh, and I forgot the little parentheses after size. All right, let's try that again with passion. And it looks like I have an off by one error, which, you know, is a pretty common thing for me. And once again, like I said, that's a pretty common error for me. Um, I every now and again run into issues with that. What we should actually be doing is not starting it with 5 and starting it with 4. Again, it we're going from position 4 to position 0. And since we're using a post decrement, uh, we need to do it in that way. So let's try running this one more time. And uh, that didn't work quite how I wanted it to either. So what we'll do is just change it to uh, greater than or equal to. And that wasn't exactly how I wanted to do it, but it worked out okay. Um, it took me a couple of tries to sort of figure out the logic I was using. Um, again, off by one errors are as insidious as anything, but they're avoidable. Um, Again, I'm not really planning out these lessons too thoroughly. Um, 
I'm just kind of going with it and kind of experimenting with my code so you guys can see what I do when things don't go exactly how I plan them. Um, so in this case, you can see kind of how we take the stuff from one array and using pushback, um, we're able to kind of generate a, a cool sort of uh, way of reversing things with very little effort when we're taking from array anyways there's a uh, there's a few other things that we're going to cover in vector in the coming uh, few lessons well thanks for tuning in guys I'm going to keep this short I'm Damien for uh, CPP for beginners.com hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and hopefully I'll watch the next video see ya